your vice president of these United States, who's supposed to be setting a role model for what we should all be doing under COVID-19. Mind you, this guy is the head of the task force for COVID-19. I want you all to take a look at what this young man did just the other day. U.S. Vice President Mike Pence has been criticized for not wearing a mask during a visit to a medical center. Pence visited the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota on Tuesday. The research center later said on Twitter that he had been informed of the mandatory mask policy, though that tweet has since been deleted. Mike Pence visited a Mayo Clinic in Rochester and there he did not wear a surgical mask, a mask to cover his face. Uh, many observers commented on this. The video footage from the pool accompanying the vice president show that he was the only person without a face mask at that particular clinic. Uh, now the vice president spokesperson subsequently said uh, that if a vice president gets tested for the virus once a week and therefore there is no need for him to wear a mask as he is not could not be asymptomatic. Well, health experts point out that that is not the case. He could contract the virus at any particular stage. A spokesperson for Mr. Pence also said that he wanted to look the health workers directly in the eye to thank them for their service. But the fact remains that the president, he has refused to wear a face mask. The vice president is not wearing a face mask. Now this despite the guidance from the White House that all in public should be wearing face masks. So. Folks, you can't make this stuff up. You, you can't make this stuff up. I live with a doctor. I'm married to a doctor. I talk to a doctor every day. And just like, they, on us, man? just like they said in this article, <laughs> unless his ass got tested right before he walked in that facility, you don't know the moment you contract something and become asymptomatic. But uh, right. T-Streams, I'm going to give this one to you first because I already know Larry got a hot take for this. <laughs> man, you know what, man? Hey, you, what what can you expect from these dudes here? I mean, you you can't expect them to do really anything that, that has anything to do with common sense. They have proven time and time again that they are perfectly incapable of practicing simple common sense. Um, you know, how are you going to, how are you going to be a leader to people and, you know, and, and not even practice, you know, not even practice what you preach. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, I, I, man, look. <laughs> yeah. He's exasperated. Yeah. He's been He's flabbergasted. <laughs> and the reason is because, man, right now, the, the whole the whole country, damn near the whole world is on lockdown. Everybody walking around this piece looking like Sub-Zero. And, you know, <laughs> this dude, he come out, uh, you know, now and then, true enough, he, he got privileges. He get tested once a week. Some of us ain't going to never get tested. You know what I'm saying? We got to be on our deathbed to get tested. All right. That right there says something to you right there. Now, uh, I really think that that these two dudes right here, they, they're proving themselves time and time again how, you know, how silly they really are and how how they are not really taking this as serious as it really should be taken. I mean, for damn, you got the whole the whole country is on lockdown right now. And you're not you're not even abiding by the same rules that your council is telling you to share with the entire country. Right. And did, <laughs> you, did and did you hear that cockamamie excuse? He wanted to look people in the eye. Ooh, ooh. He, your <laughs> eyes are not covered up. Yeah. Your so, eyes are not covered up, Mike Pence. I mean, they didn't say you got to wear protective equipment on your eyeballs. What the for, Lord? Uh, hey, so you you know you you never you you never just hope or wish anything bad. But but if them if they came up with it, man, I wouldn't be mad. You know, I, I me personally, I'm I'm sorry <laughs> if I offended anyone about that. But if these if these two knucklehead clowns that's ruling our country right now 
Literally. If, if they turned around and caught coronavirus, <laughs> it's real. <laughs> if they mess around, you got it. Look at this one. That's it's funny. Look at what my man CMBF said. He drank Lysol before he went in the hospital. <laughs> there you have it. That's yeah. why his hair's so white. <laughs> there, there you have it. Oh, but and it's, it's it's crazy, man, because I was seeing reports that that uh, that Lysol actually had put out, man, that you know that they by no case recommend nobody even do that, and so it's just it's just time and time after again, again and again and again. They 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 don't amaze me no more. It don't surprise me anything that come out their mouth or anything that they do. I'm I'm almost. I'm almost certain that they really not all the way human. It's something really, really odd about that bunch there and the people that's that he has that that supports him. God damn it, you just <laughs> <laughs> so Larry, I'm gonna give it to you, but let me read this comment. As okay. a patient, this is Miss Chris the sis. As a patient, I would be hot. I don't want him coming in there breathing his hot breath on me. And, and believe me, the patients didn't want him doing that either. Go ahead, no. Larry. Man, you know, I've, I've seen all kinds of comments saying this is this is one of the reasons why people have had some problems with Pence. They some people attribute it to his religion. They don't think that he had that he believes in science. That he's one of these fundamentalists that believes that God will take care of everything for you, regardless mm -hmm. of how stupid you are, and. You know, I am of the belief that God does not like to be challenged. That, mm -hmm. you know, if for some reason you find yourself hanging off the edge of a bridge by your fingernails, that God will lift you up in that time. But if you go and jump your ass off a bridge, he's going to let you hit the water, you know? And so I think that, I think it's just, it's a, it's a shame really what he did. And it's, I'll be honest with you, sometimes, and I've said this over and over again in the past, I think that Trump and his cronies are assets of the Russian government. And I know that sounds conspiratorial, but I think the way that they act shows that they are not working in the best interest of the American people. And this is just another example of that. And, you know, they, they do things that are actively trying to hurt the American people and to negatively influence and impact the, the American people. And this is just another example of that. And, and, and the reality of it is, is that Trump does not want Pence around right now. If you saw the, the press briefing today, he wasn't there. I didn't see him there. Mm -hmm. You know, he was like, oh, you took your ass to a COVID ward with no mask. Cool. You can stay your ass in, in, in quarantine for the next 14 days. And then you can just come back to the press briefings, you know? But you know what some of the problem is Trump has this Trump has that dictator complex about him where he has to look strong, virile, young. You can't you can't have weakness and they never wear masks. Even though they're telling everybody else to wear masks, they don't wear masks. They hardly social distance and you send Pence out here everybody surrounding him has got on a mask and he's sticking out like a sore damn thumb. Larry, I don't care if you believe in God or if you believe in a fish. Stupid is stupid. And you're going to pay the consequences of living on earth, whether you believe in a fish or God, either way you go. It's just right. not it's not a good look for the American people. It's divisive, number one. You can hurt somebody, number two. And then that smirmy excuse you gave just tells me you don't give a good damn, Mike Pence. I needed to look them in their eyes. Yeah. Have y'all seen a mask that go like this? <laughs> they need him. No, no, no. Oh. Last I checked, it's like this. Can y'all see my eyes? You know. Can you see one? You can you see two? <laughs> Stop this, shit, boy. I, I, I got to start my streak of non cussing all over again. I like to. I like to lost it on that one, man. Because you're putting people at risk. You're yeah. putting people at risk for no reason. You just, even if you feel like you're healthy, man, play the part. Don't be of the mindset, do as I say, not as I do. Yeah. And we've it's, seen I, way too much, we've seen way too much of that in this administration. It's a shame. It really is a shame. And and 
I just wish we I, I just I just wish we had better for the American people. I don't always agree with half of the country, but I wish they had I wish they had a better representative for themselves because I don't look at Trump as 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 someone that I would look to for leadership. Mm -hmm. I know that he's a president, but I don't look to him for that. I know a lot of people do. And I wish those people had someone better. Right. You know? And Miss Miss Chris DeSist. She is dropping alley-oops tonight. Check this one out. This is something we talked about in this house. Trump is going to be a liability for the U.S. when he leaves office. Do you think he's going to keep his big, fat mouth shut of all the secrets he knows? No. He's going to blab and brag to everyone. And the only opposition I would have to say to Miss Chris DeSis is he's still under indictment from New York. New York yeah. is, is chopping at the bits. Like those yeah. little children that go eat Santa Claus cookie on Christmas Eve, they chopping at the bits for him to yeah. get out of office because I'm pretty sure he's going to be one of the first American presidents we've ever had that's going to do some time in jail for what they got of him, unless he goes somewhere and tries to see extradition, probably to Russia. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be indicted the second he leaves office. Because, I mean, the the you know, the... The Southern District of New York has already said, as soon as he's out of office, we're 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 dropping the we're going ahead and and, and putting these charges through. They can't do it now because he's sitting president. Right. But they've said already, as soon as he's out of office, these soon. charges are hitting. Yep. The the moment uh, January twentieth get here and he take a breath, they're gonna be knocking on his door. And y'all can cool believe this channel is gonna be there for all the food. I might even take me a ride and record all of that because yeah. that's going to be some good TV. And this is going to be my last point and I'll get you fellas out of here. Let, me, let me say one thing to that yeah, before yeah, go you go on. It. Trump's saving grace may be that if he gets out of office and they do bring charges against him, mm -hmm. it's, it's likely that, that Biden will just simply pardon him. Similar to the way that Nixon was pardoned. They may just say it's better for the country if we just move on away from this. And so they may just pardon him, they may pardon him for whatever he's done and move on as a way of trying to move the country forward. Well, I sure the hell hope not. <laughs> <laughs> for what? <laughs> why, why, why would you all of a sudden try to go back to traditional values when this guy has been about as traditional as a porcupine stuck in Greece? Why? Why, 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 why would you go back to that? Well, and, Biden is an old school politician, and I think man, some of that may kick in and be like, it's the the unifying the country man. is more important than going after Donald Trump. And so I could, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but I would not at all be surprised if I saw that happen. Look, let New York handle the problem. I, if I was Biden, I wouldn't even touch it. Just let New York right, do that. I'm thing. down with you. I feel you. Let Don't them, let touch them it. Care. And um, the last point we'll make about politics and Trump. I'm, I'm going to just try to claim it. When he loses this November and he becomes a lame duck president, fellas, I hate to warn you all and I hate to warn you all watching, but when he becomes a lame duck president, that is when he might become the most dangerous we've ever seen when he know his time is up. You might see this dude doing the craziest stuff from giving people crazy pardons that don't need it to the things that are going to come out of his mouth to the executive orders he might try to write. I'm very fearful. It's like, damn if he lose, damn if he win, but more importantly, just damn him and hope he lose. Well, I will say that there, there is one possible stop, you know, stop backstop for that. And that mm -hmm. could be if, if they simply, if the, if the Democrats tell him, if they, if he starts looking like he's going to get out of cuff like that, it's to tell him, look, if you don't simply leave office quietly and you start doing all this craziness, your kids are going to be exposed and we will sick the full force and weight of the Justice Department on them for all of their dealings. When we go and look at all of these licensing deals that Ivanka secured with China during the middle of this, of this uh, trade war that all of a sudden started to get resolved when she started to get all these patents and everything over there. Mm -hmm. We're going to start looking at all that stuff real, real close. And you can look at seeing all of your kids in jail with their wealth stripped away from them. And so he may look at that and say, okay, people, 
I wanted to do it. It's not worth it. I'm going to be at office in a couple of days and my kids have their whole life ahead of them. I don't want to see their lives ruined. So you talking about someone in grace. You're talking about a man that we would assume has common sense. Trump has no sensibility. <laughs> he's not going to do that shit. Oh, good Lord. Here I go. But he's he does, not gonna, he, does he's, love his, he does love his white daughter. I mean, his daughter. He does love his daughter. He loves her because he want to screw her. But that's about it. He's right, not going right. to cut no deals with them. And the Democrats should just take the low road and let the chips fall all on his face because that man has done so much damage to this country. I'll never forget what he's done with the judges. I'll never forget what he's done with the education system. And really, I want to cuss out that Ben Carson too, but you know what? He stayed quiet, so I'm not going to get on him. But his quietness is also an omission of lack of intelligence that goes along with that whole entire party. He should have been resigned to jump ship too. Ain't yeah. doing me no favors. Well, he has he he doesn't have any integrity, and we understand that. No one in the Republican Party at this stage, except for Mitt Romney, possibly has an ounce of integrity. That's about it. Mitt Romney's the only one that keeps on chiming in on what is best for all people. And who would have thought 10 years ago we'd be saying Mitt Romney is the voice of reason in the Republican Party? Yeah. <laughs> yeah.